Hi, here's Marc Dubois from Harotech. I am presenting a pre-release video of a new toolkit from Harotech that will offer tools to interface LabVIEW with the Microsoft HoloLens. LabVIEW from National Instruments offers the ability to scientists and engineers to easily create, manage, and display various 3D objects in a 3D space. Here's a simple example of the 3D capabilities of LabVIEW. A cylinder and a box are generated within LabVIEW and are displayed in a 3D picture control. The user can move his point of view in the 3D picture control using his mouse to look around the objects. The Microsoft HoloLens is a new augmented reality helmet that uses the actual environment of the user as the 3D space to display the virtual 3D objects. Go to hololens.com for more information about the Microsoft HoloLens. In the present example, the slender box previously shown in the LabVIEW 3D picture control were also sent to the HoloLens using the new Harotech toolkit. After starting the Harotech application on the HoloLens, the cylinder and box are uploaded in the HoloLens from LabVIEW. The user points the cursor to the location where he wants the origin of the virtual 3D space to be within his actual environment and then air tap. Once the 3D objects are positioned in the actual user environment, the user can move his point of view by walking to look around the objects. In addition of the see-through display on which the virtual objects are projected, the HoloLens is equipped with sensors mapping the environment and providing the information necessary to make the virtual objects appear stable in the user environments while the user moves. The HoloLens receive inputs from the user through hand gestures. There are basically only two gestures. The air tap, as shown earlier, that is used to select, and the bloom gesture, which is used to open the main menu or to terminate an application. The bloom gesture consists of simply in putting all fingers of one end up and opening them as shown here. With this toolkit, the goal is to keep the user's direct interaction with the HoloLens to a minimum and to rather use LabVIEW to interact with the virtual objects or holograms, as Microsoft likes to call them. Here is presented the block diagram of the VI that was used to display the cylinder and box for both the LabVIEW 3D picture control and the HoloLens. The cylinder and box are created as objects, using all the required parameters for dimensions, appearance, position, and orientation. Those objects are simply passed to the 3D picture control and to the HoloLens VIs for display. Prior to sending objects to the HoloLens, the communication is initialized and the link with the HoloLens is ascertained using a loop. Once both objects are displayed in the 3D picture control and in the HoloLens, a loop with an event structure waits for user inputs. Once finished, the communication with the HoloLens is terminated. The toolkit can be used to upload to the HoloLens not only objects generated from within LabVIEW, but also third-party mesh objects with texture. Here we have the example of an astronaut downloaded from NASA website. The astronaut is positioned in the actual environment using the air tap gesture and the green cursor. That is that the green cursor is positioned in the actual environment on the first actual surface along the line of sight of the user, as detected by the HoloLens sensors. The line of sight of the user is called gaze by Microsoft. The detected surface is briefly highlighted in blue when an air tap gesture is made. More than one mesh object with texture can be displayed on the other lens at the same time. Here, a human heart, enlarged by a factor 2, is added using a similar origin point in the actual environment. Using LabVIEW, the objects can be repositioned in real time. For example, the heart can be made rotating on its own axis from LabVIEW. The new toolkit offered by Herotech should lower the barrier of entry for LabVIEW users to start using augmented reality in general and the Microsoft HoloLens in particular for scientific and engineering applications. Check the National Instrument 3D Vision Group or Herotech.com regularly for more information and for other videos that will be soon posted presenting such possible applications. Thank you for watching.